to Nebula Graph Video Tutorial Season 2. Today I'm going to show you how to create schema and import data to Nebula Graph Studio. First, we will create a graph space named NBA. This graph space contains two tags, also called vertex tabs, which are player and team, and two edge tabs, which are follow and serve. Enter the following statement in the input box of the console to create the NBA graph space and click the wrong icon. Choose the NBA graph space you just created in the current space column to use it. This operation is equivalent to entering the statement use NBA in the console input box. Enter the following statements in the input box of the console to create the player and team tags. Follow the serve age tags and click wrong icon. After the graph schema is created, you can import the required data. We set the NBA space to import data in this video. It contains two vertex files and two edge files. You can find the data link below this video. We only support for importing data from CSV files without header. Click the import tab and enter init. Select the required graph space in the current space drop down list. We select NBA then click next. In the upload files tab, click to select files. We select four files player.csv, team.csv, follow.csv, and serve.csv. You can click preview under the operation column to view part of the file data or click delete to delete the selected file. Click next. In the map vertexes tab, click my data source in the pop-up window. Select the file name from the name drop-down list. Select player.csv here and click confirm. Click the plus tag button at the bottom of the page and select the column name corresponding to vertex ID under vertex ID. Here we select column 0 and keep ID hash as the default option, i.e. original ID. Select player in the tag drop down list. Then select the column corresponding to the player property in the corresponding columns. Here, name corresponds to column 1 and age corresponds to column 2. Repeat the three previous steps to map the data of team.csv and click next after the operation is complete. In the map age tab, click bind data source. In the pop-up window, select the file name from the name drop-down list. Select follow.csv here and click confirm. Select the edge tab corresponding to the file in the tab drop-down list. We select follow here. Select the column name corresponding to the property of the edge in the corresponding column. Here, source ID corresponds to column 0 and the death ID corresponds to column 1. Wrong property is ignored by default and degree property corresponds to column 2. Repeat the three previous steps to map the data of serve.csv and click next after the operation is complete. Click run import to start importing data. You can see the log information after the import is successful. If you encounter any problems during the operation, welcome to us as on the official form. Here comes the end of this episode. If you like this video, please leave us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you will be the first to know our content updates. If you like Nebula Graphs, start us on GitHub. Thank you. See you next time.